Let's talk a little bit more deeply about the rotation and a couple of guys that the Yankees are banking on. Brian Cashman said it was worth the risk acquiring Kluber and Tyone. What are you expecting? Yeah, Cole is the sure thing. Yeah. And then we start talking about Kluber, and you say to yourself, if you're the Yankees, can he be who he was from 2014 to 2018? One of the best pitchers in the major leagues, won two Cy Young Awards. He's got that heavy sinker. He's a total pro out there. I think the Yankees are hoping that they get some reasonable facsimile of who Kluber was. Can he come back from the injuries that he has had? And then in acquiring Tyone, you look at the fact that he's coming off two Tommy John surgeries, but Nancy, he's a different pitcher now. He talked about how he's using his legs and his hips more, and he's not stretching his arm back as much as he used to, almost kind of short-arming the baseball right now. So, right, you could say this is a risk-reward situation. Even Brian Cashman has said he won't be able to say if he's satisfied until he sees how these players perform. So you're absolutely right in bringing them up because our eyes will absolutely gaze to them during spring training to see what kind of progress they're making. And Tyone has been so effusive, saying he's so thrilled to be a Yankee. So we're looking forward to that. And I want to get your thoughts as well on Domingo Herman. He is on the roster. He will be at spring training. But the Yankees have said they're going to sit down and have a conversation. Yeah, have a conversation with him. He's obviously coming off the suspension for the domestic violence issue. It's obviously a serious issue. And if you're the Yankees, you want to see contrition. You want to know that Herman has apologized to whoever needs to be apologized to. From a baseball perspective, though, Nancy, when we saw him, this is a dynamic arm. This is someone who can come into your rotation and give the Yankees a real boost as they are trying to figure out where everyone slots in. We know Cole's at the top. What happens after that? Is it Kluber, Tyone, Montgomery, Herman? That's the way I would be leaning right now. But as long as Herman is in a good place in his personal life, hopefully for him, the baseball side of things will follow.